welcome back this is rakesh naik today we are going to see how to reverse a string which is a application of stack before we start a small information i'd like to say in this channel we produce every video in two different language hindi as well as in english and if you want to watch this video in hindi kindly follow the link given in the description and if you have not yet subscribed kindly subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get updates regularly so let us start previous video we have already discussed how to represent a stack by using array and using linked list i hope you have seen that and you know how the data is organized what are the different operations that we perform in a stack for those who have not seen let me tell you it is a linear data structure having first in last out operation it means whatever data i push into the stack first it will be popped at the last so all of them are example of stacks basically a collection of characters stored in an array is called its string and always in one dimensional array we terminate a string with a null character or backslash 0 let us define an array of type character it is having 13 characters which has having studies studio these are my data on the 0th index capital s is with there for in the first index t second index u third index d in this way in 0 to 12 index the study studio is kept now for reversing a string let us take an example and after that we are going to understand this with the help of a code now in order to reverse a string let us take a general idea what is the process that you are going to adopt after that we will take the algorithm so basically if let us say my string contains four characters with characters a b c and d then what i do i'll push the first character into the stack then i'll increment the top by 1 then push the second character b then increment top then push the third character c then increment the top push the fourth character d and now pushing is over onto the stack what we are going to do we will now pop so how generally we pop we pop always from the top of the stack now at the top of the stack d is there so it will be popped off first so when i'll pop i'll decrement my top by 1 take the top of the stack and put it in the zeroth location again decrement the top by 1 take the top element and write it in the first index next top b i'll take it up write in the second index and last data is a i'll take and write it in the third index so in this way a b c d what my data earlier used to be now it becomes d c b a this is how the string got reversed so let us try to read characters into my string so i'll take a for loop for i equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus c in ch character i'll take and i'll assign the ch to this particular location so it means let us say if my string length is 4 and i read a b c and d so let us try to understand the algorithm we are having data and we are having the code with the help of this code we will be try to understand this example so that you will be able to understand i'm taking a for loop for i equal to 0 i is less than 1 i plus plus i'm pushing the ith index of my string into the stack so what i am going to do i'll take first i equal to 0 and then next step is push my stri and when i am doing push my stri what i am going to do here is if top is equal to maximum size minus 1 let us say maximum size is 5 and here minus 1 which is top of the stack which is empty right now is equal to 4 this statement is false so what i have to do i have come to the else part and in the else part i have to increment the top by 1 now after execution top will be point into the zeroth location the element i am going to bring to the top of the stack now again will come forward now i will become 2 i now i will become 
and again I'll call the function push of my str of one. So again I'll come here. If I'll check whether top is equal to maximum size minus one or not. Again here one is equal to four. This condition is false. That's why I'll come to the else part. In the else part, I have to I have to increment the top by one. So top will be pointing to the first location and stack top equal to element. Whatever element I'm reading here, I'll push it onto the stack. For, so for each and every element of my string, this loop will continue and I'm going to push each and every element with this logic. Here also top will be incremented and the next element that is C will be pushed onto that stack. Again, for last value, I equal to three. I'm again pushing. So again, checking this condition. Again, coming to the else part. Now top will be incremented by one. And after incremented, what are the element I'm getting? I'll be pushing it onto the stack. And for the last time, if let us say I is equal to four. So I am coming out of the for loop. And that's why there is no need of coming, calling this particular function again. The data of my string is already pushed onto this stack. Now we'll pop one by one and see how the string is getting reversed. Now the, in the code, the first line is a for loop is there for initially it will be I equal to zero. What I'll do, I'll, I'll pop out from the stack and write it in CH. When I'll call pop function, I'll check whether top is equal to minus one or not. So this condition is false. That's why, that's why I'll come to the else part. Again, I'll return the top of the stack. So top will be decremented by one. And after the execution, what will happen? The CH is returned and CH zeroth location, I'll write D. That is what I got it from CH variable. I'll write that is D I'll write in the zeroth location. Now top is pointing to C. Again, I'll start with the for loop here. I will become one. Again, I'll pop from the stack. So when I'm, when I'm popping from the stack, I'll come here. I'll check whether this, so two is equal to minus one. This condition is false. So I'll come to the else part and then the else part top will be decremented by one and I'll return the value. So C will be returned. Here I'll get C and in the one th location of my STR, I'll write C. Similarly, the same process I'll follow. Now I is two. I'll come here. Again, I'll use the pop function. And from here, I'll return the top of the stack. And the top of the stack is B right now. And B will be returned right now. And after the execution, I'll get my string of second location to be B. Similarly, the top is right now pointing to A and I becomes three. So again, I'll use the pop function. And when I'm using the pop function, this set of work will be done. And I'll get my element popped out of the stack and write it after the execution of this statement, I'll get my str of three equal to a. So let us see the program segment. Now, uh, I'm having a function called reversing of string for i equal to zero, i plus plus, I'm reading my characters one by one and putting in my string. Again, for i equal to one to n, what I'll do, I'll push all my string onto the stack and after pushing the stack, I'll pop out and write it in my string. So with the help of this code, so with the help of this code, you are reversing the string. If you want to know the push and pop function, I'm also describing here. In order to understand that, is empty is one function I need when I'm popping up whether the stack is empty or not. So if the stack is empty, it is written one. Otherwise, it will return zero. Similarly, is full is one more function. So this function will every time check whether I am having the stack full condition or not. If stack is full, I'll return one, otherwise zero. So already we have seen 
the pop function and the push function i hope you understood how to reverse a string which is a application of stamp thank you for watching this video till the end if you like the video give thumbs up share among your friends in our next video we are going to describe about one more application of stamp so see you then take care bye